News at 5 in HD. Some parents are planning to take legal action against the Jinx and Broken Arrow school districts. The issue? The school districts voted last night to ignore a state mandate that pays for special education students to attend private schools. 2 News reporter Krista Flash explains why the districts are defying state law. Krista? Well, district officials argue that tax dollars shouldn't be going to private schools. They believe their position will withstand any legal challenges. He wanted to be in drama. Shelley Duffy has a 16-year-old son with autism. She doesn't believe he's reaching his full potential at Jinx Public Schools. But he's nowhere near ready to get out into the world and do what he needs to do. But he has the capabilities and could do it if he had the right education. And I'm not getting it there. A new state law now gives Duffy the option to send her son to a private school by giving her the money it would have given to the Jinx School District. But school officials don't plan to give Duffy or any other parents of special needs kids the money to leave. To take taxpayer dollars that are specifically collected and designated for public schools and divert those to private schools is directly in conflict with the state's constitution. Roger Wright says the law shortchanges other students because other services would have to be cut to make up the difference. Jinx isn't the only school not complying with the law. The Broken Arrow School Board also agreed not to give parents the money, and it's likely more school districts will do the same. State Representative Jabbar Shoemate, a co-author of the bill, isn't surprised. Just like in the past, um, when we've had other issues, there have been situations where the, the kids are the ones who lose out the most, and I think this is going to play out the same way. A fight over children's education that both sides will have to settle in court. The Speaker of the House released a statement today expressing his concern, but did not mention what action will be taking against either school district. Krista Flash, 2 News works for you. An arrest warrant has been issued for a woman accused of drowning her infant daughter. Tulsa police say Lisa Zillman took prescription pills and drank alcohol before taking her...